this module is called fe.py, that is front end dot py. In the very first module, I import tkinter. Then I tell Mr. tkinter over here to create a window and assign that window to the variable rt. Then I say, Mr. RT, could you tell Mr. Window Manager to put the following words on the title bar of the window? Personnel Management System. And he says, OK, I'll do that. Well, let's see if he does this so far. I click on Run, Run Module. So far, so good. It says Personnel Management System on the title bar of our window. Well, the next thing I do is I create a a section called Labels for Variables. And those labels will be in the program these fellows on the left hand side first name, last name, department, and salary. So let's see how I get them on the screen. First I say R is equal to 2. That will be the row number. So R equals 2. And then label 0 equals Mr. Label function. Could you put your silly self into the RT window? He says, OK, I'll do that. And the text I want you to put on yourself is a blank. So I put in two quotes. Mr. Label Zero, put yourself into the grid. I want you to go in row R minus 1. So R is 2, so this is row 1. Row 1, column 0. And that is exactly what he does. That's my blank row right there. And it has an empty label in it. The next one is label 1. Mr. Label, could you put your silly self into the RT window? And of course, when I say RT window, I mean this entire window structure here. Mr. Label, put yourself into uh, the RT structure, and the text that I want on your label is F name. And assign that to L1. Mr. L1. Put yourself into the grid. And the row I want you at is R. That's row 2. And the column will be 0. And he does that. First name, F name, is in row 2, column 0. Let's move this up a bit. Mr. Label, put yourself into the RT window. The text I want on you is L name. Assign yourself to the variable L2. Mr. L2, label 2, put yourself into the grid at row R plus 1, that would be 2 plus 1, that's 3, and column is 0. 1, 2, 3, column 0. There's L name. Mr. Label, put yourself into the RT window. The text on you is department. Assign this to L3. L3, put yourself into the grid, in row 4, column 0. And he does that too. Department. Finally, Mr. Label, put yourself into the RT window. The text on yourself must say salary. Assign this to the variable L4, label 4. Label 4, put yourself into the grid as row 5, column 0. That's salary, and there's salary. And that's how you get these labels onto the screen. This was the Labels for Variables section. Here are the corresponding labels on the program. The next section is the Data Entry Variables. That's this section over here. These will be the Data Entry Variables. I will refer to them as E1, E2, E3, and E4, respectively. The first thing I do is I, I call the string variable function and I assign it to fn. So fn is a string variable. Mr. Entry Field, would you put yourself into the RT window, please? And he says OK. And take that fn variable and assign that to text variable. And then assign the whole thing to E1. So, why did we do this? Well, fn is a string variable, and fn equals the special variable, text variable, binds these two together, and I assign that to e1. So, fn and this data entry structure here 
are bound together. And that's being kept track of by Mr. E1 over here. I'm now going to do the same exact thing with all the other variables. Mr. String variable, create a uh, string variable and assign it to LN. Mr. Data Entry, would you put yourself into the RT window and assign LN to a text variable and keep track of it over here. Assign this to E2. Mr. E2, would you then put yourself into the grid, specifically row number 2 plus 1, 3, column 1. And so our system puts himself into row 2 plus 1, that is 3, 1, 2, 3, right here, and column 0, 1. Now for department. Mr. String Variable Function, assign yourself to dpt. So I now have a string variable dpt in which I will put text. Mr. Data Entry Function, could you please put yourself into the RT window? and bind the text variable with the dpt variable over here. Okay, assign that. Keep track of that. Assign it to E3. Mr. E3, put yourself into the grid, specifically in row number 2 plus 2. That's 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Column 1. That's right here. One more to do. String variable. Assign yourself to Sal. That's this guy here, salary. Mr. Data Entry function, would you please put yourself into the RT window, this entire structure here, and bind salary to text variable. Assign all of that to E4. Mr. E4, put yourself into the grid, please, in row 2 plus 3, that's 5, column 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, column 1. And in he goes. And finally, we come to the list box section. I call this list box over here, LB for list box 1. Mr. List box function, yes. Could you put yourself into the RT window over here? He says, yes, I'll do that. The height I want you to assume is 6, and the width will be equal to 40. He says, I'll do it. Mr. Listbox1, would you now put yourself into the grid at row 8 and column 0? I want your rows to span 8 rows and your columns to span 6 columns. So he's put here in row 8. That's the beginning. And he will span 8 rows going down. And six columns going across. First, let's clear this off a bit. There we go. Mr. Scroll Bar, would you put yourself into the RT window? He says, sure, but where do you want me to put myself? Well, first, I s assign yourself to the variable SB. Okay, I'll do it, he says. Mr. SB, put yourself into the grid at row 7 and column 5. So he goes down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and column 5. That puts him right here. I want you to have a maximum row spanage of 8. He says, OK, I'll do that. Finally, I tell Mr. Label 1 to configure yourself in a special way. He says, how do you want me to configure myself? Well, I want you to set Mr. Scroll Bar, set him so that when he operates the command to scroll, that he does so in the Y direction. Means up and down. So Mr. Label says, okay, that's fine. I've configured him that way for myself, but you'd better tell Mr. Scroll Bar that. Okay, Mr. Scroll Bar. I want you to configure yourself also in a special way. He says, what way is that? Well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Scroll Bar, this is what I want you to do. When you are commanded to do your job, 
I want you to display Mr. Label 1 so that people can view him in a Y kind of way. That means up and down. I want everyone to have a Y view of Label 1. So be able to move up and down. That's the command that you must execute when you're told to go to work. He says, OK, I'll do that. It's no problemo. And finally, I tell Mr. RT window structure to perform the main loop function, which is to continually go through these commands and, and not stop until somebody clicks on the on the X in the upper right hand corner. And that's what he's going to do now. Well, I'm running the program now, and let's see if I can put any data in there. Yes, I can. George Gould. I'm t I tabbed over there. Oops, uh, I hit the wrong key. Bool. And department is finances. And salary is $55 a week. I'm getting the big bucks. But unfortunately, I can't do anything with this right now. This is just a front end. We need buttons and a connection to the database. We'll begin to do that in the next lesson. Till then, bye-bye.